welcome again to this eighth session of the public policy making course, course Call Poly 359. The title of this session is Policy Instruments. Policy Instruments. We we'll begin the session by trying to define what policy instrument is. So we we'll look at what public policy instrument is. The world connotes a direct and predictable relationship between cause and event. However, we use policy instruments to shape environmental or social behavior. We find that technical engineering exactitude is not a characteristic of policy instrument. Instead of precision, we talk of large uncertainties as to the outcome in this regard. Policy instruments are the tools government employ in the implementation of policies. I'm saying that policy instruments are the tools government employ in the implementation of policies. Results are the end of the policy process. Policy instruments are the devices or means government employ in putting policy into effect. The word instrument derives from the Latin instrumentum, meaning an apparatus or tool. We think of a new musical instrument the playing of which produces music. We think of a medical surgeon's instrument applied to remove an appendix or insert a heart valve. Thus described, the word creates an association in the mind with skills in application with precision. But when this is used in policy, policy instruments in public policy is not talking about prescription, uh, precision. It's not talking about exactness, but it is talking about how we apply these tools tempered by the factors influencing the tools in the environment to be able to make policy. And therefore, we need to select our tools carefully to ensure that these tools can actually deliver what we want the tools to deliver. Government choose from a range of policies tools. The choice of an instrument is contingent on assessment of effectiveness in implementing a policy. This implies a government not only decides on whether or not to do something, but whether it should carry out its decision by means of which instrument. The choice of an instrument to implement a decision is not less contentious as making the decision itself. Government choose from a wide range of policy tools. Much light has been thrown on the nature and use of various instruments. Reasons for the use of instruments by governments have also been highlighted. However, there is very little work on either the meaning assigned to policy instruments by decision makers or the process by which some come to be preferred over others. The choice of policy instrument is determined by the following. New theoretical development, new technology, changes in the political and economic assessment of the alternative merits of a course of action, the consequences the choice of a tool will bring, direct government provision of service, third parties provision of services, the position and philosophical alignment of policy actors and individual expertise and experience. Now, how do we classify policy instruments? There are a range of classification of policy instruments. Two of the most insightful classifications are those of Fianna and then Bridgman and others. Fianna classify policy instruments into four groups as follows. Exhortation. And what exhortation means is that the use of advertising or pro propaganda to persuade or cajole people. Economic incentive and disincentive. And this means the use of prices or subsidies to modify behavior. Provision. This means governments may directly provide goods and services themselves. Regulation. Means laws may prescribe or control behavior. Then let's look at the, definition, uh, the classification of Althaus, Bridgman, and Davis. They classify policy as follows. Advocacy. And advocacy means arguing a case. Money. That means the use of spending and taxing power. Government action. That means the provision of goods and services. And the last one, law. The use of legislative power. Limitation in policy instrument selection. That is the next topic. The limitation in the selection of policy instruments are wicked problems cannot be solved by selecting good instruments. And wicked problems are problems that do not lend themselves to easy solutions. So no matter the instrument you use, 
you may still not be adequate in solving the problem. Policy instrument may not be backed by sufficient authority and money. So if you select a good instrument, but you don't give the instrument good money to be able to implement the policy, the instrument cannot do the policy for you. Policy instrument may not be chosen in a framework of rigorous thinking about ends as well as means. Some policy objectives are simply beyond government. Government tools cannot rescue bad policies. So if you use a good policy, but the policy you have is bad, the instrument cannot refine the, the policy thing that you are doing. And this is the end of this session, which we call policy instrument. In policy instrument discussion, I have attempted to define what policy instruments are. I have also said about good policy instruments, what constitute good policy instruments, and what really determines the choice of the instruments that government is going to apply. Several factors apply or determine the choice of instruments. So things like money, things like uh, political ideology, all determine the type of instruments that you are going to use. And then we have looked at the different classification of the policy instrument. Some classify it on the basis of uh, into four classes. That is the definition, the classification of Fianna, and the classification of Bridge, uh, Bridgman and Davis and Altos. And all these give us different ways of looking at policy instruments. The underlying thing that we have to understand is that bad policies will be bad no matter the type of instrument, no matter how good the policy instrument that you select. So you need to get a good instrument to apply to a good policy. If the instruments are bad, if the policies are bad, for example, uh, excuse me, if the policies are bad, the instrument cannot make them good. So we need both good policies and good instruments to be able to execute good public policies. Thank you for listening, and that is the end of the lecture. <laughs>